Brian Tessier here, Remax Advance Realtors. I'm so excited to be in Upper Lawrenceville for Lawrenceville Living episode number three with Eli Shoemaker of Body Euphoria, owner. Hey, bud. Hey, how's it going? Glad to have you here, Brian. Awesome, we're so excited for today. So what do you guys do here at Body Euphoria? We're committed to providing exceptional massage, therapy, yoga, and other wellness services to the LGBTQ community, as well as other marginalized bodies. For instance, black, brown, indigenous, disabled, and fat bodies. So what inspired you to build a massage facility around exclusivity? I believe that all bodies are good bodies and worthy of honor and respect. A lot of practitioners that I've talked to across the massage industry have made judgments about their clients' bodies. And a lot of the clients I serve don't feel comfortable going to other practitioners because they're worried about being shamed or disrespected for the body that they have. So what differentiates body euphoria from um, any, any type of competition you may have? Uh, we want our clients to feel great in their bodies despite what the media and society might say about their body. Um, we believe that all bodies are great uh, just the way that they are. And also we build strong connections with the LGBT community and organizations within that community. This is one of our treatment rooms. All of our, our treatment rooms are named after our queer heroes. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is the Marsha P. Johnson room. Marsha P. Johnson was a transgender woman of color um, in New York City, and she was also a sex worker, and she was one of the first people to be involved in starting the Stonewall Riots in 1969. How about the other room? Um, the room next door that you were getting your massage in uh, is the Harvey Milk room. And Harvey Milk was the first queer uh, gay man uh, elected to public office in wow. San Francisco. So yeah. Okay, cool. And how about the rooms downstairs? Are they designated? Yeah. Um, the room, the red room downstairs is the Freddie Mercury room. Ah, we all know that. Yeah, we all love, know and love Freddie Mercury. And uh, the yellow room downstairs is the Chelsea Manning room. And Chelsea Manning is? Uh, Chelsea Manning um, is known for um, actually uh, revealing some government secrets wow. that were, um, got, got her in a lot of trouble and actually she wasn't able to be in the United States wow. for quite a time. Um, because of persecution from the U.S. government. So I know you have events here. Can you tell us a little bit about what type of events you have coming up? Yeah, uh, we'll be having meditation classes starting up in April, and we're going to continue to have yoga classes. Don't mind me, I'm just meditating. Uh, in February, we had our first uh, gender queer clothes swap, which is a lot of folks in the queer community don't necessarily have a ton of money to go out and buy new clothes, especially when they're transitioning um, from one gender to the other. Makes sense. So we provide an opportunity for folks in the community to come by and donate their clothing that they would otherwise throw out or take to the Goodwill. Um, so people can come here. Uh, on, we usually have it on a first Friday and uh, people can come here and Great pick idea. out what they want. Yeah, super cool. Yeah. Um, also, we'll be having uh, tabletop gaming nights and uh, queer movie nights. For the tabletop gaming, uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, games like Settlers of Catan or uh, Dungeons and Dragons, just to have some fun and give some people some options in the community that don't involve drinking as the only option. <laughs> um, also, and for queer movie nights, we'll be, just have a projector and popcorn and watch some movies that have queer themes um, of whatever variety. Um, also, we're looking at uh, having a name change clinic and bringing in an attorney. A lot of the times, transgender people want to change their name legally, and that can be a complicated process and be kind of intimidating. So we kind of want to have bring in an attorney that works with this type of situation that can provide guidance and help people figure out what the next steps will be for them in figuring that out. That's fantastic. I think that's, I've never heard anybody offer that before. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited to offer that. Um, also, we'll be doing a reparations clinic fund fundraiser, Okay. which um, we had started that with, in conjunction with uh, Three Rivers Free Clinic um, at the Pittsburgh Racial Justice Summit. And what that looks like is you have white practitioners volunteering their time and services um, to white people who want to get to receive the services 
and they pay for it and the money that is raised through that fundraiser goes to paying practitioners of color that are working on people of color at a different event at a later time. Wow, that's awesome. That sounds really cool. Yeah, we're really excited um, for that. It's coming up um, the first Friday of April. So you already have some dates set for some of these events. Right. And they can check your website. And they can check that out on the website or our Facebook. Yeah, he's super active on social media too, so make sure you follow him on our social media channels. So here's some stuff going on downstairs. Um, what do we have going on downstairs? Uh, right now, Bethany is uh, leading a yoga class. Very interesting. Huh? Do you mind if I jump in? Sure, that'll be great. Let's give it a shot. That was tough. Okay, so I'm getting out of here. So uh, one last thing, what do you have coming up for Body Euphoria? Well, we're looking to renovate our first floor bathroom in the next couple months and also add a ramp to the front of the building. Uh, both of those things so we can better serve the disabled folks in our community. Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad you could come by. Absolutely. See ya. All right, thanks for joining us for episode three. See you on episode four.